YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelica Fitzgerald, if you are new, and if you are not new, welcome back. So today, I thought it would be fun since I got my hair done for the new year. I chopped a big chunk of it off. I have parts in the middle now. It's got all these different layers. I'm all about the hair right now. I figured I would do a hair product review with a new brand that I have never used before. So please welcome the Seaweed Bath Company. Now, uh, I have never used this product on my hair before. All I have done was smelt them, which if they're as good as they smell, we're in good hands here. But um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about each one of them and my first impression. I just opened the box that they were in about an hour ago and got my whole first impression and thought of them. And I'm gonna do half this video now and then in two weeks, I'm gonna film another video of having using nothing but all of the Seaweed Bath Company products to see how they worked with my hair, see how my hair reacted to them, if I'd noticed any differences, if I noticed no differences, and how it compared to the shampoo and conditioner and hair care products that I use now. So if you are ready to go, let's do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what I have in front of me. So the first thing is a shampoo. And uh, the flavor is eucalyptus and peppermint. This is actually the only thing I've smelt. And oh my god, it smells so amazing. I feel like this is gonna feel so great on my hair. Um, there's a conditioner that is the same scent as well. And then there's a body wash that is citrus vanilla. And they're all in the same bottle. These are actually pretty big. I think they're 12, yeah, 12 ounces. I've never smelt this one. Ooh, oh, I got some lipstick on it. Um, this smells really good. It's citrus vanilla. Those are not two scents you normally see cross, but um, I'm much more of a peppermint girl. So naturally I like the peppermint eucalyptus a little better, but definitely love the citrus and vanilla. And then I have two body creams. One is lavender. And in the exact same packaging, we have a eucalyptus and a peppermint. So I cannot wait to use these. These are really good size bottles, so they'll probably last me a while. I will let y'all know um, how much is left in each bottle after two weeks. And I don't overuse my stuff too much, although I will say I take a shower almost every day because I work out every day, and I'm always like a hot, sweaty mess. Like there's no way I could salvage my hair with how soaking wet it is from the gym, so I have to clean my hair every day. And um, my hair is fine, it's not damaged or anything. I know a lot of people say you shouldn't do that. I do what works for me, and that works for me. I just want to talk about some of the ingredients. Just off of first glance, I actually haven't even visited this brand's website, only their Instagram, because that's how I have communicated with them. Um, and so this is my first time seeing the bottle, seeing the packaging, and uh, seeing what's on the packaging. So right off the bat, in huge block letters, it says there's 65 vitamins and minerals. That's good. And then nutrient rich in seaweed. The seaweed's from Maine. And by the way, these are all uh, US Maine. So that's good as well. It's antioxidant rich in blue green algae. I have no clue what that is, but I'm going to look it up. And in the part of this video that's two weeks from now, hopefully I am like a seaweed connoisseur. So its main ingredients is Maine seaweed, kakoi oil, I, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, um, neem oil, gluten free and paraben free. Okay, thank you very much, we love that. It's vegan, so for all of my vegan people. And it's cruelty free, that's always good. Um, it says it gently cleanses and nourishes your skin. It's nutrient rich, bladder rack, seaweed detoxifies while kakui, neem, and coconut and olive oils hydrate and soften. Also, uh, I believe, see, I'm holding the body wash. The shampoo is for normal to oily hair, which is, I would actually say is pretty close to my hair because my hair's not oily at all, like the first day it's washed. But at the second day, like I have to pull it back because it starts to get oily at the roots and then the third day, forget it. Like it's, it's over if I don't wash it. So <laughs> the conditioner is also for normal to oily hair as well. The body cream is made with almost the same ingredients. Its main two ingredients are argan oil and shea butter. It deeply moisturizes and replenishes with nutrient, nutrient rich seaweed. Um, the company's called the Seaweed Bath Company. So. Seaweed is obviously their main ingredient, which that's a really good natural 
um, product to put on your hair and skin, skin softening aloe, essential oil blends, and restorative... I'm gonna type out what this specific acid is because um, any science people watching me are, are gonna laugh. So um, it has this oil as well, right here. Yeah, maybe someone can phonetically write that out for me below. These are really good size products. I believe these are the largest sizes. I don't know if they have travel sizes. I will look that up for y'all um, because obviously that is something that myself and for any of you that travel a lot will need. Other than that, I've said all I can say right now from never having actually used the product and just going off a of first glance. So I will see you guys in the next Hardline video, which is two weeks from now. So hi future me and um, yeah, see what I think. All right, hello guys, we are back. It is two weeks later. Hi past me. I know you just watched me from two weeks ago and now here we are two weeks later. I've been using nothing but the seaweed uh, bath company products, our trusty group of five products. And we got some stuff to talk about now. I have definitely formed some solid opinions about these products. So like I said, I've used nothing but these products on my body for the past two weeks. It's been a little bit challenging because I have obviously my favorite products like we all do, our go-tos that we love, that make us feel complete, and I haven't had those for two weeks. And was hoping that these would pretty much fill the spot. In some ways, they are awesome, and then there's some things that are definitely lacking. So we're just gonna go ahead and talk about the pros and cons of these products. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my least favorite product out of the way uh, because it did nothing for me, and um, honestly it made my hair really hard to style and <laughs> unfortunately would not recommend. And that was the shampoo. Um, Nick, my husband also said the same thing, he used it. And for some reason, I needed like five times the amount of product to actually have it get sudsy in my hair and get through all of my hair. And uh, as did Nick, and he doesn't have long hair like me, he has like this long hair. And um, he needed so much product to actually have it get soapy almost, um, as a normal shampoo kind of would. And then, after I would take it out of my hair and blow dry it, it made my hair feel like the product was still in it. Like, ugh, right now I do not like the feeling of my hair, but that is because of the shampoo, I think, because the conditioner was awesome. It felt super silky soft, it smelled amazing. Like my hair felt like it was getting lotion put on it, like it should after you put a conditioner on your hair. And I also didn't have to use that much product. I uh, just like a normal amount, especially since I cut my hair, I don't have to use as much conditioner as I used to. And it worked great. I truly think the shampoo is the only part of this selection that I am not into and that I wouldn't really recommend, um, at least for hair types similar to mine. This said it was for oily hair, and so I thought it would be perfect for my hair. Because by the end of any day, like my hair is already getting a little oily. Like I can't go two days without washing it or three days without washing it. I have to wash my hair every day. And so I really thought this would work for me because it says above the actual logo for normal to oily hair. So I thought it would be a pretty good compliment to the type of hair I have. And this just, yeah, we're done talking about this. I don't like it. It makes my hair feel weird and kind of greasy and like there's product on it and just not clean for some reason. And shampoo is supposed to be the cleaning part of your hair care routine. So anyways, unfortunate, but this is the only thing I wouldn't get from the Seaweed Bath Company. Now let's finish talking about the conditioner because I actually really did like this stuff. Um, so this smelled amazing, like I said. Actually, everything smells great. Even the shampoo, even though it doesn't really work with my hair, smelled great. Um, but this actually felt like silky, smooth. Like I thought that I was gonna be able to wash the shampoo stick out with this, but that didn't happen. So unfortunately, I didn't get the full effect, I feel, 
by using the two products together and I actually haven't tried this with my normal shampoo which is Redken by the way love Redken to death um, I haven't put the two together like my Redken shampoo and the seaweed bath coat conditioner so I might try that um, and see if it works but I would think that a company that makes shampoo, conditioner, soap, all of that stuff would work best together. So if it didn't work well together, I don't really see it working well apart. So yeah, definitely love the conditioner. Totally recommend buying it. This is Angelica approved for sure. My next favorite was the body wash. The body wash actually smelled so good. It felt so good on like I love this. Like, I'm gonna use this until it runs out and then probably order more. My body felt like just so clean and I loved it, but it didn't feel dried out. I know sometimes uh, soaps can do that and dry your skin out pretty badly. This didn't do that at all. I almost didn't even need the lotions that they sent me because my skin really felt hydrated and good. And I also used this on my face and my face really felt great too. Normally I would use like a face soap, but I really wanted to see how this worked and if it irritated my face at all just to kind of give feedback back to you guys on that and it didn't at all so definitely love the body wash would recommend the body wash okay and lastly the body creams so i will say i like the eucalyptus and peppermint a lot better the scent on this guy stuck around for a really long time after i put the lavender on i didn't really smell anything after about 10 15 minutes so if you don't want a scent and you just want to feel hydrated uh i guess the lavender would be good for you but i really like to feel after i've showered especially at nighttime and like lathered myself up in lotion that you know the smell of me is like a flower almost so anyways the eucalyptus peppermint did that for me lavender did not so i like the eucalyptus a little bit better one thing I will note about these lotions is they are extremely thick. Extremely thick. They actually reminded me of Eucerin. Uh, that's like an old school lotion that's been around since the beginning of time, like since my parents were little. It actually used to be by prescription only. Like back when I was little, you couldn't just go and buy it. And now they put it on the market where you can just go buy it like you buy anything else at the store. And uh, it's one of the best creams out there but it's kind of meant for like a specific area of your body that's really dry it's not a lotion you'll like lather your body with because it's so thick i mean it'll take you a really long time to lather your whole body in it because it's really meant for more of an actual dry skin problem not just your nightly lotion and so these guys were thick like eucerin that's what they reminded me of and the hydration on them stayed literally until the next morning. I, I feel like I didn't even need to put lotion on after I took a shower the following morning because my legs were still hydrated. And so that's a good thing and it could be an irritating thing. I think it's a good thing if I'm like going to the beach, gonna get a little bit of sun exposure, if I'm gonna be out all day, if I'm gonna be wearing shorts, um, I love that like hydrating look. It makes your leg literally shiny and I love that. But I put the lotion on one morning and I had to put jeans on and that was just a nightmare. I couldn't get my jeans on. I had to wear a very specific pair of skinny jeans for casting and it took me 20 minutes to get my jeans on because this lotion was so thick, it was lathered everywhere and it just the traction against the gene material was really intense so that's just something to note depending on what you're doing you will love this or it will be your biggest nightmare so um, i'm wearing it right now and i feel great i have like a jean jacket but then i just have a white tee on and it's a short sleeve so my arms are free and it feels great but anything that's tight like jeans or a tight skirt or a dress or something would not use this lotion because it's so thick and creamy that it will stick to your clothes especially if they're tight so overall i would say the hair care products didn't change my hair too much other than the shampoo unfortunately 
making it feel kind of sticky and greasy. I love the conditioner and I love the body wash. They really felt great on my skin and I will continue to use them until they run out. And then the lotions I really like too, but it's just not like a I can use it anytime, any day kind of lotion. I learned that the hard way, so I'm telling you now. <laughs> that these are not a use any time or any day type of lotion. It's more of a, I'm gonna wear loose clothes today or I'm gonna go out and show up my skin today. If you're showing skin, this stuff will make everything look so hydrated and nice. So that is all I have for y'all with the Seaweed Bath Company products. I will leave their links below so you guys can check them out. They are a little bit of a newer company. They are such a dream to deal with. Very, very nice people behind the work of their products and uh, definitely some good finds too. I would highly recommend their um, bath body soap and their conditioner. And again, my little husband guinea pig definitely liked those two products the best. If you liked this video, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and definitely hit that subscribe button below. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day, and I will see you next week. Bye.